With over 30% of the calves lost the tick bone diseases such as theeloriosis, babesiosis, and anaplasmosis, farmers have been worried of the next move as the acaricides are not killing the ticks. Farmers have been reporting many instances of acaricide failure, which was making their costs very high as they tried various acaricides. To come from a small tick like this. Mm-hmm. However, all that will be history after the scientists at the National Agriculture Research Institute developed the new vaccine. Right now we are evaluating one of our candidate anti-tick vaccines. It's an antigen. It's genetically engineered. And uh, we isolated it from ticks, our common ticks. We have three common ticks to diversify livestock in Uganda. And uh, that's the molecule now that we are evaluating to see how protective it can be against our local ticks and how it can protect across the different ticks. So this is what we have done. Now it's about three months since we started this. There is, however, a challenge because the ticks may not be eliminated since they can survive in very tough conditions. It has been documented that we cannot totally eradicate ticks. Ticks have, uh, they are very difficult to eradicate. Even scientists have, uh, it is documented. We can only control their numbers but you cannot totally, because they have even a few natural predators or enemies, and uh, there are many, they, they hatch many eggs, so, and they're always in the environment, in the bushes, so it's not easy to eliminate. The process of developing the vaccine includes taking samples from different breeds of cattle using different types of ticks. The local breeds are usually a bit more resistant mm. to the ticks, mm. unlike these. And for these, even if they are, they are being bitten by a tick, they have even some level of resistance against the diseases they spread. Mm. But one tick can kill each of these, any of these animals as much as. Henry Mulindo, a research with National Agriculture Research Organization, says the anti-tick vaccine will control the ticks. Basically, the mode of action of this vaccine is that instead of the tick killing the animal, the animal will be killing the tick. It will be the other way around. Once it bites the animal, it, it won't be able to reproduce. Okay. So but over sure, time, the population sure will be quite out. Often, the male tick dies after mating and the female tick dies after laying eggs, which amounts to 2,000 to 18,000 eggs and with a lifetime of three years.